iTunes, and of course, Radio Loyalty. We've got a great guest with us today. He joins us live here on our program here on iHeartRadio. J.W. Ties is with us. We uh, chatted with him in Vegas a few years ago, and uh, we've got him with us today here on the telephone. And uh, so, J.W., tell me a little bit about what's been going on, my friend. Oh, dude. Uh, with all the production craziness and whatnot, I've mostly been sitting at home avoiding people, crowds, and whatnot, if you know what I mean. So I've had to come up with some shot-at-home concepts, work with other talent in other cities. It, it's been an interesting couple of months, to say the least, let alone the past two years. Fantastic. We've got J.W. Ties with us today. He joins us live here on a big broadcast, coast to coast to border to border on iHeartRadio, and you can get more information online. Go over to DesperatePleasures.com for the best in taboo family relations, indulge in your fetish fantasy with customs, and more at JWTies.com as well. And uh, JW with us today here on the telephone. So, uh, JW, uh, l- let's talk a little bit about uh, some releases that you've got coming out. You've got Mouth Busters coming out. Talk to me a little bit about this, my friend. <laughs> That was one that was actually a concept I'd been thinking about for a long time. Because there's a lot of uh, myths when it comes to, like, oral sex and blowjobs, et cetera, that you can do different things to make your ejaculate taste better. And I'm trying to keep it as clean as I can for the radio, but I might slip every now and then. Anyway, um, we decided to try and go into a couple of different ideas. The first one being... Changing your diet will make it taste better or sweeter. Now, I worked with Alice through many, many DJ scenes, so she was familiar with my normal diet taste. I went on a two-week, uh, I guess you could say, health food kick where I was actually eating a lot more fruit, vegetables, the things that everybody recommended, uh, adding in honey to try and adjust the sweetness, etc. And uh, I won't give it away, but I will say that we busted that myth wide open. <laughs> fantastic, fantastic. It's J.W. Ties. He's with us today here on a broadcast, Coast to Coast. And, uh, Go ahead, my friend. things that are in there are the uh, BJ's will get you an A. That's not always true. <laughs> um, obviously, sometimes the professor will just take the head and uh, leave you in class, so to speak. That's awesome. It is. Yeah, that was a fun one to put together. Fantastic. It's J.W. Ties with us today. He's with us live here on a big broadcast. Check out jwties.com. That's jwties.com. You can buy his clips in the genres of taboo at uh, tabooDiaries.com. And uh, for tickling, you can go over to hardcoretickling.com. So, uh, J.W., also uh, talk to us about this Bound by Family release that you've got out there on video on demand and DVD. Yep, that one actually should be coming out on uh, DVD here shortly, too. Um, Bound by Family was a concept that uh, we started a couple of years ago, but I wasn't able to release it because of the type of content that's in it. Yes. So why have you been able to release it now? We lost him. <laughs> JW Sorry, Ties. I lost him for a second there. No problem. No problem. We still got you, my friend. So uh so 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 why are you able to release it now? Give us all the details, man. Okay. I did a lot of different uh bondage sex concepts over the years and uh until enough companies push enough limits to the point where it's acceptable for somebody who's already walking that razor thin line of bosust or incest role play or however you want to call it yep. to where you throw in the bondage, you're going to get a lot more scrutiny. So my distributors were always no, 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 no. After several other companies released scenes that were all 
almost close to the line I walk, they were like, okay, but you've got to follow this rule and this rule and this rule. And that was when we started doing, like, Daddy's Dungeon and some of our BDSM releases a couple of years ago. But we couldn't go as hard on the family lines until now. And we were actually able to release a series that I shot with Mae Olson, where she basically discovered that her uncle was a kinky bastard that liked to tie up women and have sex with them in his garage. And she watched and then seduced her uncle into doing the same with her. Wow. Um, <laughs> yeah, it, it's a little twisted. <laughs> It is J.W. Ties. He's with us today here on a broadcast, uh, coast to coast, to border to border on iHeartRadio. Also, AMFM247.com. Tune in, iTunes. And, of course, you can find us at TalkShoe.com. J.W. Ties and Desperate Pleasures are available online, and uh, you can go to Tickling Hand Jobs. You can do TickledGuy.com. And uh, you can also go over. He's on Hot Movies. And uh, also over on Pornhub as well. J.W. ties with us today here on our big broadcast. So um, you are on Chatterbait on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Saturdays. Talk to us a little bit about this. Yeah. Um, Alice and I are camming live on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Saturdays normally. This week we had a schedule change. We're actually doing Tuesdays and Thursdays, and we may keep doing Tuesdays and Thursdays because yesterday was a fucking crazy-ass blast. It was like, I don't know, I guess you could say a nonstop sex show. <laughs> we had people okay. that had never been in our room before <laughs> coming in, dropping tips, and making us do some crazy-ass shit. We, uh, we actually that's awesome. went so crazy yesterday. Um uh, Alice came so hard, it took her almost 30 minutes to to regain her composure and kind of just to be able to sit up after it was done. Wow. So, yeah, it, it, it's some crazy shit. Uh, <laughs> that is awesome. We have got J.W. Ties with us today. He joins us live here on a broadcast. And, of course, uh, it, as you know, in 2008, J.W. Ties left his civilian life as a plumber behind and started making fetish videos with his wife, starring fetish and local models. And uh, the first videos, of course, were tickling, bondage, balloons, which to this day I find so strange that people are into this balloon stuff. But uh, <laughs> I just... I, I, I I don't know. I was told a few years ago by my buddy Ross Long. He was like, "Oh, there, there is a perv fetish for everything." And he's like, "There's one for balloons." And I'm like, "What?" And we finally uh, made it out to the AVNs one year. And yes, uh, balloons is a big freaking deal in the adult industry. I, I, I guess. <laughs> I guess. Well. I know it's a big deal in a lot of the uh, fetish side of life. I mean, there is an entire subculture that uh, actually is into that fetish to the point where if you're not specific with how you light it, how you set it, it's actually a turnoff for them. Like if wow. they see the room light blowing in the balloon, they don't want it. That's awesome. That's fantastic. Yeah, it, it, it's a it's an interesting fetish to say the least. And I mean, there's another subculture of that that's all inflatables. At one point in time, I had girls riding like those uh, inflatable whales and uh, that's awesome. turtles and stuff that you put in pools till they pop. Wow. <laughs> That the things that there are out there that it <laughs> we have got J W. Oh, Go ahead, J W. Actually, so in depth, they created an inflatable civia for people so that they could have the inflatable feel and the sex toy combined. It was a wow. battery-operated device going back ten years ago, but they may have made some improvements to it by now. That's awesome. <laughs> J.W. ties with us today. He joins us live here in a broadcast. 
And uh, I guess as we wrap up here with you, my friend, uh, where where is the best spot to send people to, uh, you know, have them give them some of your hard-earned money kind of thing? Uh, best place, and this way they can look at all the things they want, they can look at the different fetishes, and it's broken down for them, would be jwties.com. That's my directory to everything. It's 